If you want help, you don't have to fight me. I'll do whatever I can to cure you. And turn me back into that wine you trust, son, baby? I don't think so. Listen, what you've done didn't just affect your body. It's twisted your mind. You have to let me... I don't have to let anyone do anything. <laughs> That's the only thing. Always waiting for Daddy to come and hug me to make it all better. Well, he never did. But it doesn't matter now. You make it better myself. Well, better for me. Not so good for you. <laughs> I'll analyze your calls and find out why you're stable. Then I'll do it myself. You're the disease, but keep the power. <laughs> It's the first time I know this is dangerous. I gotta admit, you've set the bar pretty low. I still get to be sorry for what happened, but I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone. Ooh, you say that like you have a choice. never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money or resources. Even if you don't want to keep fighting for yourself, you owe it to them. You're gonna answer for your mistakes and do whatever you can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew taught me that. 
Get over there now. <laughs> I love this part. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we could do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent us some task force guys to evacuate, but they're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How'd it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates are in a bad spot. I've got to get those people out. This isn't personal. I just think you're a jerk. Okay, maybe it is personal. So bad, so fast. Glad to help. Get as far away from here as you can. I call this the seismic blast. You can come to to evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. Webs, what all the stylish bad guys are wearing this. get you out.
I've got to evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. Target acquired. Hey, the webbing really brings out your eyes. I'm getting too far away from the action. how ionic webbing works, but does anybody really care? Hey, you'd be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Ionic webbing! Sorry, it's just fun to say that. If you want me to surrender, raise your hand. Evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. Quit fighting like that. I'm... Boom shakalaka. Honestly, that's an improvement on what you were wearing. Let's see this again in slow motion! Quit fighting like that! I'm supposed to be the funny one! Got the spider!
judges give Spidey a perfect score! Menken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. You don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine, but the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... More? Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> A symbiotic relationship. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve, but then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Heavy-duty security. Wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. What's that? This isn't personal, I just think you're a jerk. Okay, maybe it is personal. You're gonna love this! Oh, I will. That water's got a live current in it. Gotta stay on high ground. That was fun. Let's do it again. Bash any friendlies in my area? The spider! Form on me! Come down before I lose my patience. Dispatch any friendlies in my area? What's that? <laughs> Hey, you'd be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Who's there? Nothing 
little ionic weapon can't fix. Come here! Deep inside, you're just a scared kid, aren't you? Too bad you're not on the outside. Anyone else hear that? Want to me to surrender? Raise your hand. No. Fine. Let's see this again in slow motion. Butterflies when I fight the bad guys, except for you. equipment, burn marks. I bet this is where they held Max Dillon. I get the feeling there's something behind that wreckage. busy. Gotta stay out of that water, or I'm gonna get one heck of a jolt. Venom Project. Huh, great. Why is it never the Puppy Project or the Chocolate Project? before he makes things even worse. anything from Earth. I've never seen anything so horrible in my life. I have a growing family, Spider-Man. So many mouths to feed. I think I'm you. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. My friend is hungry. It wants a nice fat spider to munch on. You rejected my gift. But I have another one for you. Death. 
All the voices in my head agree. You have to die. <sighs> Gotta stop casting him before he makes things even worse. As far as you go, one of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm Carnage! because I don't want you to suffocate. You're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth. The secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. And you shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death!
the answer, Cletus. None of us are gonna find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said.
Oh, you can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. What happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now, the real work begins.